am I not pound for pound the best fighter in the world? You tell me. Because you retired? Well, you no. got full credit for both of those wins, Floyd. No, no, That's no, why you became no, a superstar. No, I did not. Yes, no, you I did. did not. No, sure I did you not. Did. From are you gonna, are I you gave you full credit. Piece? If you're talking am, to me now, am I, gonna I speak gave my you piece? full credit for that. Am I going to speak my piece or not? Go am ahead. I going to speak my piece or not? Go ahead. Okay, because you want to interview me. I ain't interviewing you. You want to talk to me. I don't want I don't worry about talking Floyd, to you. You want to talk to me. Go ahead. I'm waiting on you. Mexico says that you have... I mean, I want to see your face when you ask me this question and the way you're going to ask it. Look a man in the eye before you try to kill him or make up something. Look him in the eye. I read papers every day. I read you guys every day. And you know the difference between me reading your papers now and me reading your papers 10 years ago is that now I know when I read it. 10 years ago, I didn't know when I read it. You just don't understand. I can sit here and tell you for an hour, you wouldn't understand. Because you've never played, you've never been an athlete before in your life. Uh, yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. On what level? Football player. On what level? Oh, oh, not junior. Oh, my goodness. Junior, huh? Your job you, you is asking questions. Okay, and I'm answering them, and you're trying to tell me I'm lying to you? No. You got forward and bump your little head, man. I'm telling you. Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. If you have a problem, turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Class act, buddy. October 1992, Tim McCarver criticizes Deion Sanders for playing a Sunday football game with the Falcons, despite having a playoff game with the Braves the same night. I think Deion's doing a rather self-centered thing, Tim, Absolutely. going there tomorrow. Talk about a guy playing both ends against the middle. But primetime gets his revenge. Tom was right here. Right now. Hey, I got a real man. You know that? This, you are a real man, Deion. I'll say that. Was that nice to you? Shove that mic up your as far as you can stick it. Make you move, bud. Because I'll hurt you. Whatever you take it as you see. It's just, you know, like the homeboy said back home, we just chilling. Make you move. I guess that's what I'm saying, Brooksy. You get that through your head? I guess so. Yeah. And it's time to waste some time. Oh, then get the f out of here then. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Okay, I make a lot more than that. You do? Yeah. My best advice to you? Yeah. Shut up. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It's very polite. No, it wasn't playing. I like how you shut up. This is like, if you want to talk to me outside, I'm more than happy to talk to you. We talk about basketball. If you guys covered this stuff, I wouldn't have to do it. Oh, oh, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Will you please? I'm quite frankly, we bring in 12 million to the university. Nothing to do with state funds. We make 12 million dollars a year for this university. Get some facts and come back and see me. What is it about these golfers that you you seem to admire so much? When I decided to come back, for what I think is a very noble reason, you said, folks, the cancer has been in remission for four years, but our cancer has now returned meaning me. You are not worth the chair that you're sitting on with a statement like that, with a disease that touches everybody around the world. Let me tell you why I'm talking about this article. Three-fourths of this is inaccurate. If your child goes down the street and somebody makes fun of him because he dropped a pass in a pickup game or says he's fat and he comes home crying to his mom, you'd understand. Where are we at in society today? Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. Who's the kid here? Are you kidding me? That's all I got to say. It makes me want to puke.